Hi, right, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the Maker's Cave. And today we got a little bit of a show and tell here. Um, there are some packages that came with the um, Eagle, Eagle Moss Enterprise 1701D build. Um, as most people know, Eagle Moss, or may not know, uh, Eagle Moss has not been sending out parts due to supply uh, problems that I guess everybody's experiencing. The last shipment I got for an e e Enterprise build was probably in November of 21. Uh, the beginning of June, uh, parts started to come in, so you'll see some assembly videos soon. And this is the middle of June. But what did come consistently through those six or seven months were some of the bonus uh, items that you get with the build, mostly the shuttles. Uh, there's two shuttles in each of these. So what I thought I'd do is do a, uh, just one big video on each of these uh, little models that they send us. So let's take a look at them. We'll start off with this one. This is the Type 15 shuttle pod, the Elbaz. I think that's how you say it. Now each one comes with a little booklet that gives you some history uh, when they were shown in the epi different episodes they were in. I haven't even had these out of the box yet, as you can see. And they're all well, fairly solid. I guess they might be hollow on the inside, but... And each one comes with a stand. Right there. And it comes with a little... This is kind of cool. This looks like it could turn into a project. It's a little translucent card. It has the details of shuttlecraft. I would think if... It's a very poor test, but... Oh, there you go. If you get the light farther enough away, it kind of glows. I'm wondering if we could put a light behind that, make a little panel that lights up. That might be a neat little project. So that's the Elbaz, and according to my notes, tiny little shuttle pod. This is from the episode where they found a duplicate Captain Picard floating in space in this shuttle. So that's where you saw this one in that episode. I forget the name of it, but I do remember that episode where they had a duplicate Captain Picard. The next one is the Shuttlecraft Goddard, which there's a story behind this one. At least I think it is. I'm going to ask you guys for advice. Again, there's a stand in here with another, like one of those translucent cards. I don't think I need to show you that to you again. So here is the Goddard. It looks like it might have some wear on it. It's, little, it's darkened in certain spots. It's weathered. And this is the shuttlecraft that Picard loans uh, Scotty from the original series. Uh, at the end of that particular episode, if you remember, there was an episode where uh, Scotty was in this shuttle, or not this shuttle, Scotty was in one of his ships, and they crashed into a Dyson sphere. And Scotty saved himself by feeding himself into the transporter into a continual loop, okay, until the Enterprise, you know, came into gravity contact with Dyson Sphere and got trapped in it. They found Montgomery Scott and Scotty in the transporter, you know, obviously beamed them back to a whole person. And then at the end of the episode, in the, in, to thank uh, Montgomery Scott for helping them escape the Dyson Sphere, Picard loaned him this shuttle. So here's where I think there's a bit of a continuity error between Strange New Worlds, which is a terrific show, that just started streaming on Paramount, and this particular episode where they found... Uh, Montgomery Scott trapped in the transporter in a continual loop to save himself. If you know what that continuity error is, okay, let me know because putting uh, a person in a transporter loop to save themselves was supposedly never done before Montgomery Scott did it. So, like I said, if you know what that continuity error is between the two series, let me know. I, I don't want to say what it is because it could be a spoiler. So, there's the second shuttle. Okay, now we're going to open up um, the one that has Shuttlecraft Hawking uh, and the Captain's Yacht. The Captain's Yacht is all technical information. The other manuals have, you know, what, what um, show they were featured in. And the reason I bring that to your attention is, and you can correct me in the comments below, the Captain's Yacht was uh, at the bottom saucer section of the Enterprise. But it was never, ever, it was mentioned, but it was never used in any of the episodes. Um, every time they wanted to go and use it, 
uh, there was budgetary problems with special effects of making a whole other shuttle just for uh, the captain's yacht. So they always just, you know, rewrote the script and used a regular shuttle. But if you can let me know if you ever remember this being used in a Next Generation episode, you can. So there's the captain's yacht. On the other side, you can see they put in the two latches where this would latch into the bottom of the saucer section, just like the saucer section, you know, latches onto the cobra neck. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's something that's really never been seen before. It's only been mentioned. Like I said, if you can think of a show that, or an episode this was actually used in, let me know. But I don't think it was ever used. So we'll put that over here. The next one is the shuttle hawking. And when I was doing the research on these, I only just like picked some of the well-known episodes that they were used in. Again, this has uh, a base in the bottom, translucent card. So this is one of the bigger ones, the Hawking. This was a, what type shuttle was this? A type who? Type six, this is a type six shuttle. Okay, and the only mention I could see of this was what was used was actually in the Next Generation um, movie, The Generations. This is what, at the end of the movie, this is what uh, picked up a card after he, you know, did whatever he did to save the world again. Um, but actually, I kind of like that one. That's kind of cool. What's that? Here's a Type 6. Oh, this would be better. Let me do them butt to butt. So you can see this one's a little sleeker. This one is a little heavier duty. All right, next is a, we have a Type 7 and a cargo shuttle craft. Uh, type 9A cargo shuttle craft. Now I'm going to assume as far as scale goes, this would probably be a little bigger and beefier. Um, I couldn't find any reference I don't want to check the manual when we open this up because I couldn't find any particular episode that was mentioned for this particular type of shuttle. Type 6, cargo. It's just a hair bigger, a little wider. These are actually pretty cool. We need me to diorama of a shuttle bay with all these in there. That would be cool. This is the cargo shuttle craft. And again, I'm looking at the manual. It's, it's just basically all full of, um, of specs. There's no episodes referrals in here. So I don't think, other than the Star Trek, the Next Generation, the technical manual, I don't think this particular cargo shuttle was ever mentioned. And the next one is just a Type 7 shuttlecraft, which, again, during my research... This was mentioned as being in, and you'll probably recognize it once you see it, just plain being in a lot of the episodes where they needed a shuttlecraft. There is, I believe they said this was a Galileo series shuttlecraft. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty standard shuttlecraft. Now, again, when I was doing my research and we had the captain's yacht, Whenever they called for the captain's yacht in the script, they decided not to do it because of the, you know, how much it would cost to do this. They always referred to this shuttle, and this is what they ended up using instead. So I think that's why this is the typical common shuttle. They had this built. They could use it for all the different episodes. And again, that's a cool little one. And we're going to... You can tell it was really designed for the Enterprise and for as a common one because in the cells, almost identical to the, to the Starship. And let's... We'll just compare it to the, the shuttle pod. And there's your, your size difference. Here's the, where's the real big cargo? Here's the big cargo one. So this one's a little wider, but it's substantially shorter. So these are all the shuttle craft that came. Uh, they're all in scale except for the captain's yacht. If I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will let me know. But basically, though, I am intrigued with the fact that these are all in scale, and these are really cool. Uh, I think a shuttle bay diorama would be really neat to, to show these off. Um, they are pretty much like we, we consider curbside models. Uh, good exterior detail, no moving parts. Uh, lettering is nice. 
I was trying to think of a way to maybe light these up, but I think it would be too much effort. Uh, I'm afraid I would destroy the models trying to do it. So I think uh, a diorama with some accessory lighting around it uh, would be really neat. So that's it for a little show and tell on the shuttles. Um, hope you liked it. I mean, these, these come with the build. If you sign up with the build, you get these. Uh, well, let me put it this way. They'll charge you for them, but they are included with the build. And at first I didn't, when I first got them, I wasn't that excited, but now that I see them and I'm holding them, I, I really like them. I can't wait to find a way to display them. So until the next time, I'm Steve. Thanks for stopping by the Maker's Cave.